home of the National Football League, the National Hockey League, the National Basketball Association, and Major League Baseball. You're watching a Spinal King Sports presentation. wet and stormy Saturday in the city of Toronto, but at least Rogers Center has a roof to keep everyone warm and dry. It's the second best versus the worst in the AL East. Today, the New York Yankees come to town to face against the Toronto Blue Jays. The Yanks used to be on top of the East, but they have dropped to second in the American League, while Toronto are at the bottom of this barrel. into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. The show has an AL East matchup. It's the New York Yankees and the Toronto Blue Jays. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. You're watching Spinal King, Saturday Baseball Game of the Week. It sure is raining cats and dogs outside the stadium. It really is not a good time for these Blue Jays or any bird to be flying about. It is 72, stormy and windy, with the humidity at around 93%. The rain could last up until tonight. Let's pray we don't encounter any outages during the game. And now, let's take a look at the New York Yankees starting lineup. It starts with Anthony Volpe at short, Juan Soto hitting at right field, all rise for Aaron Judge, hitting third. Tied in average, his second career high, but leading in home runs and RBIs. Alex Verdugo, hitting at left. DJ LeMayhew, DHing. Jemai Jones at second base. Catching is Austin Wells, Oswaldo Cabrera hitting eighth, Trent Grisham at center field. Toronto's defense. We have Varsho, Bichette, we highlight him for being the two-time AL hit leader. George Springer is at right field. Clement, IKF, Schneider, and Guerrero Jr. Jose Barrios will throw to the catcher, Alejandro Kirk. Just about set to go now. And on the hill, Jose Barrios. And Singy, he likes pitching at home. Well, truly for him, there is no place like home. He's been so dominant here. And as a teammate, you expect him when pitching at home this year to go out and dominate just as he has. The fans expect it, and I think everyone around here knows that he's a good pitcher. Even though we don't see the same splits on the road, we're going to start to see that translate as well. And now the shortstop, Anthony Volpe. That one finds the zone, and we're off and rolling in Toronto. Next offering is in for a strike. Quickly in an 0-2 hole. You're going to have to give something up here in terms of power if you want to put the ball in play with any authority. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. He wastes no time on this one. His seventh home run of the season. It's 1-0. He absolutely feasts on right-handed pitching and devours that one for a homer. And you can see that's what he expects of himself at bat after at bat. He's that confident. Well, you got to love a game that brings some action from the jump. And at the plate, he was looking for a pitch to absolutely drive. And you know, leadoff hitters aren't up there anymore just working the count, trying to get on. They're looking to make some noise and do some damage. Here's Juan Soto. First nope. offering, and it just misses. Well, it was exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. One run across in the frame so far, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. The next pitch misses. 
And the count is 2-0. Oh. With the big bats coming up and a home run already surrendered, he's really going to have to execute against these next couple of batters. And the righty deals. And a foul ball. And a pitch. That one fouled off two and two. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Kicks and fires. Up the middle. Oh, great stop. Throw to first. It's there, and that's a great play. Great cat-like reflexes right there. Lays out, knocks the ball down, and then fires with that rocket arm all the way across the diamond. Man, put this guy in the mound. Here is Aaron Judge. That misses. 1 0. Oh. Barrios, in his eighth season, he features a sinker, a slurb, a four seamer, and he works in a changeup. And that one's a little bit low. Yeah, that's ball two. Got to be real careful here. 2 0. -oh. He's hunting for his pitch. Gigantic blast. It's their second home run of the inning. It's 2-0. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. Really great job of anticipation there. He knows he throws the sinker. That one down in the zone. You're trying to beat it to the spot it's getting to. Well, he won. One down. Now the left fielder, Alex Verdugo. Hey. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Oh, one's the count. And yeah, now the oh, one. Oh, one. Bounce to third. And it gets by him. That is it. But Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team with bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Runner on at first with one gone. And now it's DJ LeMayhew digging in. Nope. That one ball missed. One. And a pitch. 2 0. Oh. Verdugo leads off first with one away. That That's one three. misses. And it's 3 0. Oh. They've got him working a little harder in this first frame than he anticipated. Here's a 3 0. Oh. And ball, ball four, four to a board. It. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. First and second, one out. Here's Jemai Jones. And that one fouled off. Runners at first and second with one gone. Swing and a miss, and it's nothing in two. Oh, he missed that slope right there. He threw it extremely well. Talk about just a ton of break. So tough to get that barrel to him. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Had him way out front of the slur. 
Well, clearly just anxious right there, and understandably so. No two count. You feel like you've got a lot of plate to cover, and you don't want to strike out, and you end up striking out. That's just one of those pitches where it's not over the plate, but because you committed to it as it was leaving his hand, by the time you realized it wasn't going to be in the zone, it's too late to hold up your swing. And that's in for a strike. Well, I know they've gotten out to an early lead, but you don't want to take these opportunities for granted. With two outs, still lock in with a quality at bat, drive in that run. You may not have another runner in scoring position the rest of this ballgame. Off oh, the mark there. Good. One and two to count. And another ball. First and second, two down. This to third, Clement. Jump throw across his body. They limit the damage here. But two round trippers in this inning, the long ball was working. And it's two zip. You're dialed into the show. A great start for the Yankees with a 2-0 lead. We now head into the bottom of the inning and a look at John Schneider's lineup for the Toronto Blue Jays. Center fielder Bo Bichette will bat first, Isaiah Kiner-Falefa playing at shortstop, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. at first base, hitting 295 and homered seven times in the last 30 games. The designated hitter Justin Turner hitting fourth, George Springer at right field, Davis Schneider hitting at second base. Dalton Varsho at left field. Alejandro Kirk will be catching and Ernie Clement batting ninth at third base. The defense for the Yankees. Verdugo, Grisham, and Soto in the outfield. Cabrera, Volpe, Jones, and Judge presiding at first. This kid won his first gold glove last year and made 83 starts at shortstop. Wells is catching. Carlos Rodon is on the mound. And we're back. And on the mound in this one, Carlos Rodon. Chris, what should we keep an eye on here with him? Well, that whip is just below the league average, and that's a good thing in this case, not allowing too many base runners. So on most days, he's going to go out there and compete and put his team in a position to win, and I expect to see that from him in this one today. The full bichette up to the dish. And here it comes. Right ground ball, base down. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Isaiah Kiner Falefa up to the plate. Right through there for a strike. Nobody out, runner at first. Swings through the fastball up in the zone. Don't play situation here. He's been working up in the zone. Typically, you look for guys to get that ground ball, see if he adjusts on this next pitch. Got him swinging. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Just blown away in that at bat. Three right. fastballs, all the strikes. He wasn't even able to foul one off. There's not much you can take away from an at bat like that as a hitter, other than maybe there's something wrong with your eyes. Got to have better timing on the fastball next time. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And yeah, the one first out. offering is not close. Now, Siggy, this is a guy that grew up in big league clubhouses, and it's something that you see throughout the game. Sons, whose fathers also played the majors. In the air, right field. Soto gets under it. Soto makes the grab. Batting four. The designated hitter. Let's take a look at the lineup for the Blue Jays. 
and something they've talked about needing to improve on moving forward is their ability to apply consistent pressure Chris right now it's not a club that gets on base enough and sometimes Boog you just need a hitter to go up there and grind out and at bat maybe have 11 12 pitches and all of a sudden players get fired up in the dugout and they want to do the same thing and before you know it you start to get base Soto makes the grab and that's the inning one hit one left we move to the second in Toronto it's the Yankees two and the Jays nothing. Spino King Saturday Baseball Game of the Week is presented by MLB The Show 24 by San Diego Studio. Now available, rated E for everyone. By Sprite, obey your thirst. Inspired by Major League Baseball on Fox. Same ball game with a new attitude since 1996. Back now in Toronto. New inning getting started. And the batter now, Oswaldo Cabrera. Cabrera. Let's go, Jess. The pitch. Fought off foul. Saying he wasn't very sharp in the first, got hit around a little bit, just wasn't able to locate particularly well. A lot of stuff for the fat part of the plate. Yeah, Boog, he wasn't fooling anyone. It's a tough place to be because it's not always obvious what adjustments need to be made. Well, sometimes it's location, sometimes it's being too predictable. Sometimes you're tipping your pitches. He's going to need to figure it out quickly, though. James Kingsley, our plate umpire, consistent, as you mentioned, and maybe a little generous on the edges. Here's a one-two. Oof! That one went straight back and got our ump right in the mask. Let's hope he's okay. Come on. At the belt and fires. Out to center. And it falls. Man aboard on the leadoff single. But I don't think that pitch would have been called a strike, but... He did such that a nice job of pulling his hands that's tight that's to the body and well, just getting enough of the barrel right. on it to be hard right. enough right. back up the middle for a knock. So, man aboard. Now it's Trent Grisham to the plate. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Two consecutive base hits for this team. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Here's the shortstop at the play. Anthony Volpe. He's already homered here in this one. To the right side. And a base hit. Headed for the plate. Now a long throw home. But it's offline. It's three zip. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Just a simple yeah. ground ball the other way that had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Watch Soto now. I'm curious how he decides to attack on the mound. This guy at the plate has been great hitting under pressure this year. I thought this was a fun note on Soto. In 2023, he hit home runs in Mexico, Canada, and the U.S. I don't think it matters where Soto plays. He's going to hit home runs everywhere he goes. Righty to the plate. That one lifted to left. Sizing this one up. He makes the grab. The first base is number 99, Aaron Judge. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. He's already homered in this game. Fastball for a strike. And it's 0-1. When you're struggling out there on the mound, hitters know that there'll be plenty of opportunities within the at-bat to try to get something to hit hard. Two on, one out. Ball one there. I think it's very important to establish the inside part of the plate early. It sets the tone for the rest of the game. Yankees up by three. Here at the top of the second. 
Swung on, belted. That's back there. And that one is off the wall. One run across Volpe. Rounds third, headed for the plate. Play at the plate. Got him. The base runner did a great job of making that a close play at the plate with an excellent slide. Made the catcher work to get out there and put down the tag. The throw was on the money, and that's what made the difference. Big time play to cut down a run. Alex Verdugo, one for one with a single so far. Late on that fastball. 0 and 1. Judge leads off first with two down to the inning. And a swing and a miss there. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good, and then. By the time he gets in the hitting zone. And down on strikes. That's out number three. They put two on the board on four hits, no errors, and one left on. We go to the bottom of inning number two. The Yankees four and the Jays nothing. Bottom of the second. And now for the Jays, George Springer. The right field. George Springer. Rodone back to work. Just missed. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Rodon ready. Here comes. So a foul ball makes it one and two. pitch stays alive ground ball left side and it goes just foul Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. But why the kick the pitch? Foul ball still a one and two count. And the pitch. Fouls it off, still one and two. And another ball. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. And he deals. Gets a piece and stays alive. Here comes a pitch. Sitting in the left field, that'll play. And after grinding through that at bat, he gets the best of him. Well, wore him down after an extended plate appearance. It ends with a knock. At that point in at bat for a hitter, when you've seen that many pitches, you've gotten a lock, you've fouled off pitches, so the confidence level is extremely high. And it seems like when you go that deep into it at bat, the hitter usually comes out on top. Number 36 in the box now. No balls and a strike. Rudder at first with no outs here. That one misses. And now it's even one and one. That's a little bit low. Step off, 
throw to first. And Springer's in there safely. I think you want to get a one-way lead, be very aggressive in the secondary. This hitter not a power guy, so you want to make sure that you can get some length on the secondary lead and perhaps score the ball in the gap. Wow, good luck catching up to that one. The Yankees leading by four, bottom half of inning number two. Swings and misses, it's a strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. He was able to execute the perfect pitch for that situation. Had been pounding him with fastballs, and then all of a sudden pulls out the changeup and has good enough command to make He's it competitive. Tell you what, varying speeds like that to a hitter can be really, really effective. And right there, you could tell that hitter was just overmatched. And now it's Dalton Marshall. Misses the zone, and he gets him to chase. And a foul ball. Man at first, one away. That's to third, and he can't come up with it. No throw. That's an error, and everyone is safe. That again. The catch. catch. Two on with one out. Alejandro Kirk getting ready to hit. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. That one missing inside. And a pitch. Pop foul out of play off to the right. One out, runners at first and second. That's to third. They put the tag on him, on to first, oh. double play, and that's the inning. Blue Jays held in check. They trail it here, four nothing. Out of the third Lead inning, and now the DH, D.J. LeMayhew. D.J. LeMayhew. Been a rough start on the mound for this guy. This third inning is so important for him to get on track, turn the page, settle yeah. in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this one. Well, I think this is an important inning on the mound for him in this game. He's got to find a way to settle things down and give some length in this start. The pitch. And Whoa, ball one to LeMayhew. You know, these Yankees do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient yeah. bats out of them. Pitch count is pretty high, and one ball, they've played four three. runs already. So I think it's safe to say their game plan is working out pretty well right now. And yeah, oh. it's even up. So they forced the starter to put in a lot of work, and they've been able to get to him for some runs. And hopefully that bullpen phone is working today. Yeah, the right-hander deals. Wouldn't chase that time. Outside, and that is ball four. Yeah, that could be a tone setter for the inning. Four straight pitches and the leadoff batter's on base. We'll see if the next guy the waits until eight. there's a called strike Jamal. before he takes the bat off his shoulder. Jamal. Man at first, and stepping in for the Yankees, Jemai Jones. Pitch ball misses, one. and that ball is one, ball no one. And that's a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. All over that one right there. That was one of those swings that feels like you're swinging an aluminum bat. It jumped off so hard, squared it up, and he went screaming at 108 miles per hour. 
Austin Wells stepping in now for the Yankees. Grounded out his first time. And a foul ball. Though Chris through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. That's and a ball. ball one. It is interesting, though, one ball, when you one consider break. the way the game is run now. Doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. Kicks and deals. Not close with that one. Three and one. And yeah, there's ball four. You know, Boog, it's been said these guys are savages in the box. You yeah, can see it right there with such tight plate discipline. Oswaldo Cabrera stepping in now for the Yankees. Singleton scored his first time. That nope. one misses. That's five straight. Well, this is a tough situation with the bases loaded, but the healthiest mindset is just try to get out one hitter at a time. Got him, and that's going to force in a run. Definitely a problem with the release point there, and it just comes back to bite them. They're going to get away from you at times, but you just can't let it happen with the bases loaded. That's a painful RBI for the hitter. New pitcher now for the Jays, Brendan Little. He's been so good against lefties. And next for New York, Trent Grisham. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. Immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. First good strike right there for him. He's going to have to do that consistently if he's going to give any length to his skipper. Hey. Strike two. Left-hand hitter waits. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Wow, just great bite to that slider. Broke hard out of the zone, and he just couldn't work up the swing. You know, as a hitter, that pitch is really hard to take, and there's just not much you can do with it. You know that, but you don't want to get rung up by the umpire. Anthony Volpe stepping in now for the Yankees. We just might be talking about this at bat in our post-game wrap. He's proven he can drive in runs in these spots. Ground ball left side could be two. Throws the first in time. There for the out. Runner scores from third. Now battle. The right field. And now it's Juan Soto. You know, Boog, as a 20-year-old, this guy hit two home runs in the World Series. And the only players younger than Soto to hit World Series home runs are Andrew Jones, Miguel Cabrera, and Mickey Mantle. And a good eye there. One on count. Look for him to be aggressive here. You got some runners on base, an opportunity to catch a mistake and put some runs up on the board. Two in scored position. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Ground ball up the middle. Connor Falefa whips it to first. They get the out on Soto. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. So two runs, one hit, no errors, but two are left stranded. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. Yankee six, and the Jays nothing. Back here at Rogers Center, now the third baseman, Ernie Clement. 
Well, every pitcher wants to run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some pitchers. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. This is one of those times when you want to be aggressive. Go ahead and pitch to contact. Let the defense work behind you. You've got a nice, comfortable lead. Don't try to be too fine. Deal two. Hey. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Well, that was a really good job setting him up right there. Pitcher and catcher the working together to finish him off with the fastball. And even though the location probably wasn't what he wanted, the sequence is what got the job done. Clearly, they with the swing after seeing the off-speed stuff on the pitch before. Bichette in the box now as he leaves that one up high. I can't play around with him here. It's a six-run lead at this point. Got to attack hitters even if you give up a solo shot. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. One ball. I think he was sitting Two off strike. speed there. That's Outside low, and it's two and two. The Yanks up big in this one here in the last half of the third. That one ripped. Christian ranging back. And caught on the warning track. Not quite enough behind that one. Outstanding catch right there. And I love the commitment that he showed. He knew that the wall was close, but was determined to make that catch and a nice calculation of just how much room he had to try to minimize that contact. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. That'll fire up the dugout. And they're on the scoreboard. It's 6-1. That was blasted. Absolutely. No doubt off the bat. A breaking ball on the inside part of the plate requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you throw open with the fresh shoulder, there's no way you keep that ball fair. An outstanding job mechanically. He deserves that home run. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now. And the ball first one. pitch misses for ball one. Ball one, no strike. Two outs, base is empty. Missed nope, with a changeup. Two and oh. The rest of the lineup could learn a thing or two from this at bat right here. He's been patient, and now he's in the driver's seat with a 2 0 -oh count. High fly ball out towards left field. Verdugo ranging back. And forget it. They go back to back, and they close the gap. It's 6 2. Man, he looks like his dad out there hitting home runs. Back-to-back -back homers, always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. This is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ball club. Turner oh, in the box up. here lets that one go for a ball. The 1 0. And hey. that one is in for a strike. Hey. Swing and a miss. Chased it out of the zone. One ball, two strike. The 1 2. And another ball. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. The two round trippers in this inning. The long ball was working. It's now 6 2. Back after this on the show. All set for the start of the inning. Here's a big power threat Aaron Judge. 
the lefty fires. Well, in terms of hitting forward. rocket home runs, Judge is near the top of that list. Only Giancarlo Stanton has hit more with greater exit velocity than Judge. Look out, though. Shohei is quickly climbing those charts. Just missed. 2-0 count to a guy with this much pop at the dish. You better expect him to be turning on something. It's going to either get hit hard to the pull side, or the fans better look out in the stance. Yeah, big swing and a miss. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move till the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pitch. Slings it, it across. One up, one down. The left line, number 24, Alex Verdugo. Alex Verdugo stepping in now for the Yankees. One for two. Little, a 6-2 southpaw, 195 pounds, and they went out and made a trade for him last season. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Bichette sizes this one up and puts the squeeze on that one. Out number two. The batter, the, batter. the designated hitter, DJ. Now it's LeMay Hugh up to hit. Right through there for a strike. The 0 1. Ball? And that one missing low. I got a ball, one strike. Two down, nobody on. Top half of inning number four. Next nope. pitch misses inside. inside. Two and one. On the ground to third. Dives and he can't hang on. No throw. He's in safely and now there's a runner at first. Jemai Jones stepping in now for the Yankees. There for strike one. Oh, and one. Two outs. Foul ball. pitch one ball two strike Hits it misses it's a strikeout the Yanks lead one they lead it six to two Ready to go, Leading bottom up. four. Here's George Springer to start it off. George Springer. The wind of the pitch. Just missed. Well, these Blue Jays showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across That's to score as well. Just missed. Still no relatively time. early, but with a pair of runs already on the board, the ripple effect of that high pitch count might set them up to do more Aye. damage later in this game. Inside quarter, and that's called a strike. He swings and fouls one off. Wind of the pitch. Still two and two after the foul ball. And okay. another ball. Yeah. 
flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his bat down just enough to make contact with that pitch, to keep the bat alive. Swing and a pop up in foul ground. Drifts towards it. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. Then there's one down. Now batter. The second, the second baseman. baseman. Here's the second baseman. Snyder. High fly ball down the left field line. Verdugo makes the grab and there's two gone. Just pulled off of it a little bit right, right there. That front shoulder go coming go open instead of staying closed. Go if he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Varsho, the next to hit, takes ball one. The Blue Jays down by four. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Two oh, balls, no strikes damn. to count. Strike one. Two balls, one strike. Ball. And another ball. He hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. Swing and a miss. Three balls, two strikes. Really consistent release point. He's been able to pitch up and down and have excellent command at both locations. Three. Strike three on the foul tip. One, two, three, go the Blue Jays. They still trail it here. It's six to two. And welcome back to the ballpark. And here's the catcher, Austin Wells. Little back to work. Yeah. Gets the corner. It's 0-1. Toronto's bullpen with some action. Trevor Richards appears to be getting loose. Next pitch is outside. And there's a ball. The pitch. That one misses. Three and one now. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3-1 count. And so the lefty allows the leadoff free pass. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Oswaldo Cabrera stepping in now for the Yankees. This is again five in a row. Wells on at first. Nobody out. On the ground to the left, and that's just foul. The other way, and foul ball. And a pitch. And they'll do it again. On the ground at first. Could be two. Over to Cutter for Leffa. How about that double play? For me, that's one of the toughest double plays to turn on the infield. The first baseman has to get inside, create a throwing lane to hit that middle infielder to start the double play, and then from there, completing it back to first. Really good job all the way around. And now the center fielder, Trent Grisham. Sinker gets the bottom of the zone, and that's a strike. All one's the count. Kicks and fires. Hard hit left side. Clement over to first. That takes care of Grisham. 
third out, that ends the frame. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's the Toronto catcher, Alejandro Kirk. And here it comes. And there's a strike. Well, these Jays, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating moments. They've been fooled quite a bit today. And a pitch. Foul ball still 0 and 2. The wide to kick the pitch. And one that ball, one almost hit him. Here's a one two. That ball, one missed. Cool. It's a good take. Struck him out looking. Oh, man. Just locked him up with that slider, even though it no, caught no, a no. lot of the zone. No, and I think that tells you all you need to know about what he was looking no, for man. in the box, and it clearly was not that pitch. Hammers that one deep left field, and forget it. He sends a rocket to left. His fourth home run of the season. It's 6-3. That one just sounded different. Yeah, it might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I can feel that swing from the booth. Well, he went up there, oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had his sight set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. to the leadoff spot in the Blue Jays lineup. And now, Bo Bichette. This one smoked on its way out of here. Another one. Back-to-back -back homers. And they inch closer. It's 6-4. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dip. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Now it's the shortstop, Isaiah kiner Falefa. That one catches the zone. That's strike one. One down, base is empty. Right through there for a strike. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. Up the middle, and that chance handled. Not in time. He's, He's safe. Definitely a tough play right there, and he had no, a little no, trouble no. on the first transfer. First. Didn't seem to be able to get the grip and get rid of it, and that made all the difference. Yeah. One gone runner at first. Next to hit, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Hey. Vladimir Guerrero Jr., that swing so reminiscent of his dad. Lots of pop. The Yankees up by two. Last half of inning number five. That one ripped, but foul. And he'll two. Well. Squirts away a little bit. Nice job behind the plate there. And the pitch. 
That ball, dude. He's trying to stay down in the zone, but the hitter just will not chase. Now back in a 2-2 count, he's going to have to go to something else to get him out. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. Wouldn't got chase that time. And he walked nope. him. That's up there. Ball four. Now a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to lay off some nope. really nope. close nope. pitches. And nope. somehow, nope. he found a way to keep nope. the bat nope. on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, nope. I couldn't have done it. Swing. Now we'll look down to first. And yes, he did. He went around. And he deals. Little chopper rolls foul. Connor Falefa at second. Guerrero over at first. So going away. Three. Got him swinging for the K. And an excellent job keeping it right there. Well, that's pretty much the yeah, dream yeah. two-strike right field. If you're the pitcher, Joel. on a downward break at the very end, it just dips below the swing path. And they say pitchers want to try to bounce that pitch right on top of the plate. So that was exactly what he was looking for on the mound. And the batter is George Springer. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Ball Pitch one. misses, gonna count one and two. And that one hit to That's first, awesome. and it's just foul. That was close. Rodon sets and deals. And another ball. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. That's out to center field. Grisham sprinting for this one. Brings it in with a nice running grab. And that's the inning. But two round trippers in this inning. The long ball was working. It's now a 6-4 ball game. We're back. And they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, Trevor Richards. Just trying to keep this one close here. And this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. And the batter will be the shortstop, Anthony Volpe. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Swings through that one for strike two. And it was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. Here's the 0-2. Chases the fastball up the ladder, struck him out. Oh, well, that high four-seam fastball has now become bad. such what a great pitch for pitchers to finish hitters off. They're trying to stay back with two strikes, make sure that they can handle something off speed, and just with good spin rate, good rotation through the zone, elevate it a little bit, get a lot of swings and misses, and that's a really nice job right there. Soto nope. stands one. in here, takes ball one low. Movement in the Blue Jays' bullpen. Zach Pop up and loosening in the pen. Pearson getting loose as well. Left-hand batter waits. Aye. And now it's even up. Filthy chase up right there. Just pulled the string.
That Eight. clips the zone. Two. That's strike two. Good pitch to hit on a tee two up three. in the zone. I think he was looking for something else right there. Base is empty one away, and we're at the top half of the sixth. And that's in the dirt. Two and two. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. Wouldn't chase that time. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with the three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. One down, base is empty. Hey. Goes down looking. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an no, inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think no, no. of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. It's Aaron Judge now. He had a big swing for these guys way back in the first inning. Yeah, Boogie didn't waste any time in this one. The solo shot really got his team going, and he's looking for more right here. And that's off the inside edge. Ball one. Curveball kind of backed up on him there. I think it just slid out of the hand a little bit too soon. That's in there. And the count one and one. It's time for a new baseball trivia. Aaron Judge has been in the majors since 2016 and is leading in home runs this season. But how many home runs does he have? The answer is coming soon. Let's continue the contest. Right-hander kicks deals. Fights that one away, still one and two. And another ball. Next pitch way upstairs. Clearly didn't come out of his hand the right way. Left that curveball way up. Two down, nobody on. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Righty delivers. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Payoff pitch, and that's ball four. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. You know, I think he's okay with that outcome. It, it wasn't an intentional walk, but he wasn't exactly trying to attack his own either. So two down, and up next for New York, Alex Verdugo. Ball one there. Count one and oh. That's a strike. And a count even one and one. Back to back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. Good nope. eye in that spot. Judge oh, off the of first with two away. in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. There's a swing and a drive. That's back. 
gives up the body and makes the catch. Oh, man, amazing catch to end the inning. As a former outfielder, I'm feeling proud right now. Saw the wall, didn't get afraid, held on to the ball. Bottom of the six, leading off number 36. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. And the pitch a little bit low, ball one. Movement in the Yankees' pen. Tommy Canely getting loose out there for Aaron Boone. The 1-1. One -one. And there's a ball. Next offering in there for a strike. It's two and two. Chop to the left side. Bare hand grab, fires to first, and they get the out. Sweet play there. Not sure he needed to barehand it. But the baseman love making that play. Here's the left fielder, Dalton Varsho. That one is absolutely belted. And that gets down in the corner. Around first, heading for two. In safely. It's a double and his second hit. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Just a really nice job of turning on that pitch and smoking it down the line. And there's no one playing there. So once it drops in fair, you're on your way to extra bases. And here comes the Yankees manager to the mound. Pitching change coming. Carlos Rodon is done in this one. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. Luis Heal into the game. And he's been fantastic this year. Really stingy in terms of allowing base runners. He's just got great stuff that's tough to square up. Alejandro Kirk next up for the Blue Jays. And takes low for ball one. Righty to the plate. That one called the strike, and the count is one and one. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. One ball, two strikes. One, two now. And a swing and a miss at the slider in the dirt. In time for the second out. Good job to clean it up after the drop third strike. Oh, that slider was way out of the zone. And for me, it just comes down to not seeing the pitch out of the hand, not tracking it into the zone. And then also being a little bit anxious, not confident in your two-strike approach. And so when a guy's in that position, you get him to commit early, and a lot of times you get the swing and miss, as you did right there. Next to hit, Ernie Clement. And that one fouled off. Let's get back to the trivia. Aaron Judge is leading in homers this season, but how many does he have in his career? And the answer is... 287 home runs, tied with Bernie Williams for the seventh most in Yankee history, while surpassing Jorge Posada and Derek Jeter. Here comes a pitch. That oh. misses the zone. And yeah, that's ball one. Oh. 
Man on second, two down. Missed with a changeup. Two and two. adrenaline we can see it right there and sometimes you just got to let it out that's an outstanding job of taking that executing and getting out of a tough inning welcome back we're in the seventh we have a new pitcher on the map Nate Pearson Coming on to face a righty here, and he's been fantastic against him this year. His numbers in those matchups are very good. Up to the plate steps D.J. LeMay here. D.J. LeMay. The pitch. Fouled off. He was late. At the belt and fires. That one finds the zone. And the count is 0 and 2. No need to offer that pitch until you get to two strikes. It's just a low percentage of success when you want to try to go after that down and away pitch. Kicks and deals. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. The pitch. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. The 0 2. That's a little bit low. pitch foul ball still a one and two count and the right hander deals Switch through that one it's a strikeout well, that slider wasn't even close to the strike zone and he got him to chase that's just a bad approach right there either he was looking for something else and got completely fooled or he was sitting all over the slider and just couldn't resist the temptation but man really expanded right there and didn't have a chance of making contact with that pitch now it's the second baseman Jemai Jones right through there for a strike Pearson a 6-6 righty 27 years old a former first round pick Back in 2017. One down, base is empty. Ball. And now two and one. Two ball, one strike. And that one fouled off. A little early on that fastball. I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off-speed pitch on this next one. Fights it off. He'll see another. And the righty deals. That yeah, one missed. Ball. These first two hitters really making him work out there. Already 14 pitches this inning. One out, base is empty. Battling here as he fouls it away. And that's too high, ball four. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Well, that's a nice job of grinding yeah, out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. Here's the catcher, Austin Wells. He's over one. Pearson a pick to first, and he's back in safely. That 
it's inside and it's one to know Jones the runner at first with one gone in the inning lays out but he can't squeeze it still able to get it there in time and they do get the out just a great oh, effort all the way around at third base right there. Nice job to get a glove on it with the dive, but it was the recovery that was so impressive. If he doesn't hop to his feet and get the throw off in such a fluid motion over there, I kind of doubt he gets the out. Oswaldo Cabrera now at the plate. That's and downstairs. Ball. Man at second. So two oh, balls and no strikes. <laughs> that one sizzling on its way through to the outfield. Fires it to the plate. It's Three off the mark right. and he scores. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Runner at first with two away. Here's the center fielder, Trent Grisham. One for three. And that's through there for a strike. One run across in the frame so far here in the top half of inning number seven. Two outs and ball one. That's a really good job ball, of laying off the 0-2 high fastballs. Going to make that pitcher really have to respect this hitter, even though he's behind in the count. Caught him looking for the K. When they pick up one run on the RBI single, it's now a 7-4 ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show. And we're back. Leading Bottom of the seventh. Of now here's the leadoff the man for the Blue Jays, Bo Bichette. Oh. The line of the pitch. That oh. one is upstairs. And there's a foul ball. The line of the pitch. And there's a breaking ball that drops in there. Now just a cement mixer slider right there. It's a great pitch to hit if you can recognize it early and jump on it. And here it comes. Oh, it's that. that two seam fastball is usually coupled with a slider away. And when a hitter's conscious of the pitch in, it's hard for him to cover middle away. And that's where a pitcher can really finish off that batter. And that's outside and it's three and two the only adjustment he needs to make is his target if you aim at the outside corner that slider's going to end up way off the plate perhaps look a little more down the middle and you get it right where you want blows the high heat past him that's a strikeout but that kind of velocity and elevated fastball even if it's still in the strike zone can be tough for hitters to get on top of So up next, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. That one, one way outside, and that's ball one. Kicks and fires. Fought off foul. The Yanks leading by three near the bottom of the seven. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. Two down. 
Definitely made him chase a little bit out of his own right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Foul ball there. Two down, nobody on. Bounce to the left side. Rolls across oh. the diamond. Three up, three down, inning over. Nothing doing for the Blue Jays, and they're on the wrong end of a 7-4 score. Spinal King Saturday Baseball Game of the Week is presented by MLB The Show 24 by San Diego Studio. Now available, ready to eat for everyone. By Snickers, you're not you when you're hungry. Inspired by Major League Baseball on Fox. Same ball game with a new attitude since 1996. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Zach Pop. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Back to the top of the Yankee order. Here's the Yankees leadoff hitter, Anthony Volpe. And a pitch. Right through there for a strike. Way high. One strike. Popped up. Guerrero settles underneath it. Squeezes it. And a quick out number one. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Stepping in, Juan Soto. 0 for 4. Two ground outs, a fly out, and a strikeout. That one at 95 missed up top, and that is ball one. Movement in the bullpen. Tim Meza, the lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Base is empty, one away, and we're in the top of the eighth. There's a strike, 95 of that one. And another ball. Field for a knock. Well, that's his first hit the in this one, so that right should help him down. feel a little better. Area. Timing on the swing was good. Yeah. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. Judge, nope. the next to hit, takes outside. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. Sizing this one up. Falls it in for the out. That's out number two. So, man aboard, Alex Verdugo, stepping in now for the Yankees. Out towards right center, that's well struck. Bichette going back, and it's off the wall. Coming home, the relay. It's offline. The run comes in, and they're up by four. Waste no time there. Absolutely blasted that one into the gap. Just didn't have quite enough to clear the wall out there. Maybe a little more elevation under it, and it carries over. But that's a swing you'll be happy with every time. Here's DJ LeMayhew.
And it's fouled away. Verdugo stands at second with two gone. Swing and a foul. Pushed off to the right. Three. Struck him out. Really fooled him with the breaking ball there. Yankees strike for a run on the RBI double. It's now 8-4. Now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Tommy Canely. And he's got now, a nice lead to work York. with, so he should Number come in throwing York. strikes, attacking Tommy. these hitters. Canely. Now it's Justin Leading Turner. Up, the the Struck out on just the three pitches hit. last time. Justin Turner. And the pitch. Ball one. one there. Activity in the bullpen for the Yankees. Number 50. Getting loose out there for Aaron Boone. And he deals. Right through there for a strike. Big at bat right here. He did one the team one. thing. Took until he got a strike. Now he's got to go to work. Shorten up that swing a little bit. Do whatever it takes to get on base. Swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. Three. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. And it'll be George Springer to step to the plate. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Oh, one's the count. The Yankees leading by four here in the bottom half of the eighth inning. Next offering is in for a strike. Two pretty nasty sliders to get this hitter in an 0 2 count. If you're up there at the plate, you got to look up in the zone and spit on anything that's down. Threw it for the K. Gassed it right by him. Very strong coming out of the pen so far as he punches out the first two batters he's faced in this one. Getting straight to work. Man, it's talked about a lot. But relievers are just so electric these days. These aren't fun at bats if you're a hitter. I'm so glad I'm retired. Number 36 stands in now, looks at that one inside. Outside low, and now 2-0. Oh. No Wouldn't Three chase ball. that time. No See if he gives him anything to hit here. Sliced hard, but foul. Hey. On the corner for a strike. Three, two. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. Down in order go the Blue Jays. They're unable to make a dent in an 8-4 deficit. All set to start the ninth in this one. Here's the second baseman, Jemai Jones. The pitch. In for a strike, and it's 0-1. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. 
Next offered in there for a strike. Okay, with two down. This guy's sink has so much drop in it. It's almost like a split finger fastball. Instead of just weak contact and balls on the ground, Three. he gets swings and misses. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. And now the catcher comes up to him, Austin Wells. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. down base is empty that one in there across the letters well he had a pretty good look at that pitch and not sure exactly what tied him up there couldn't pull the trigger and perhaps the best pitch you'll see in this at bat to hit Owen oh, two now out to short tosses to first it's the catcher by a step <laughs> Two outs, base is empty. Oswaldo Cabrera stepping in now for the Yankees. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. And that one hit 97 on the gun. Two and zero to Cal. Here it comes hey. and a strike. Well, he went inside a couple of times and now outside. Hitter's not exactly sure where to look for this next pitch. Good eye right there. Next hey. offering is in for a strike. Two down, nobody on. Here at the top of the ninth. In the air, out to center. Bichette makes the play, and that's out number three. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Bottom part of the order, 7-8-9, two up in inning number nine. It's the Yankees eight, the Jays four. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth, number 50. Well, he's been excellent against left-handed hitters this year, and that's his first test. This looks like a good move to the pin in terms of the matchup. And now for the Jays, Dalton Varsho. No left fielder. Varsho. And a pitch. Hit hard. That gets through. The leadoff man aboard. Now, There's nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped, cut out in front, and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. And here's the catcher, Alejandro Kirk. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a ground out. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block, catch, and throw. He is at the top of the game. In ball the one, dirt, no ball one. Really good athlete, and many times we talk about you know the feet of infielders. This catcher as well, really quick feet. He's able to recognize hey. the pitch, see the trajectory, and get into a spot where he can block those balls and keep them from going to the backstop. Right-hander kicks, deals. Mind, and that's a base hit. Grisham gets it back in quickly, and it's now first and second to start the inning. Back to back singles. A lot of hitters tell themselves line drive over the infielder's head. That's what I'm trying to do. Just keep that approach simple. And right there, it was perfectly executed. On time with everything, and pulled it into the gap nicely.
Clement stands in now and watches strike one. Really good job in this spot to get ahead in the count. He's going to have to continue, finish off this hitter. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. No And oh, now one and two. Well, a two-seam fastball is a great pitch from a right-hander to a right-handed batter. Just really teases the inside part of the plate and runs in on the hands. Stays alive. First and second here, no outs. Right-handed reliever. Fouls it off. Still one and two. Struck him out looking. He's got to be frustrated with that call. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. Well, that was his third strikeout, and this one looking, obviously, so he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there now. Now on the bump, play home. Should be a good first matchup for him here. He's been doing a great job against right-handed bats so far this season. They've had a lot of trouble squaring him up. Bobashek gets a chance to hit. Right through there for a strike. And a pitch. Hit weakly on the ground. Judge tossed the second, and that's a double play to end it. Four games wasn't too long of a losing streak, but they're definitely happy to be back in the win column. Now you can turn things around, get on the right track, and probably start a winning streak from here. And our final here today, 8-4. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon. Home of the National Football League, the National Hockey League, the National Basketball Association, and Major League Baseball. You've been watching a Spinal King Sports presentation.